Did you hear about the new coffee shop that opened near Wayne Manor? It's called Frotham City. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel. Today on Comic Book Editions Volume 193, I'm going to share just a few recent back issues that I've added into my collection, and then we're going to do some unboxing of the DC Comics Ushi Poppin' Tops. Thanks again for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe. It's a great way to show support to my channel as I try to reach my goal of 1,000. Couldn't do this without you, nor would I want to. Giving this video a thumbs up, a heart, a like helps the algorithm, which YouTube likes. Sharing this video on my channel with someone else is another great way to show support. And of course, I'll be wanting your comments when we get to the end of this video about the things that I shared today in the video. Thanks again for stopping by. Let's get started. So I mentioned I'm only going to show a couple comic books today. I'm only going to show you two, as a matter of fact, before we get into the unboxings. And these two came from the recent Free Comic Book Day 2024. Now, I ended up coming home with about 20 issues for my collection that I'll be showing uh, in the future in Comic Book Editions videos here on my channel, where I went, had a nice 50% off back issue sale. And you know your boy loves him some back issues and he couldn't resist. Uh, the two I'm sharing today come from that event, starting with Superman Volume 1, number 256. This was published in 1972, and we have this awesome Nick Carty cover. So the reason that this book, which I've been aware of for quite some time, I've seen some other people show this throughout the last several years, or since I got into the comic book YouTube scene and community, I've seen people share this book. And the first thing that I always thought was, why isn't that cheetah on the cover? Wonder Woman's enemy cheetah. Why isn't that cheetah on the cover? That would be perfect. Why did they create a new character, Tiger Woman, instead of just using cheetah? Well, I've never owned this book, and I thought, you know, before I keep thinking that, maybe I should pick up the book. So I finally took the opportunity to do so. There's actually two stories inside this. The first story is about this scientist who transferred his mind into a fighter jet and was kind of hell-bent on getting destruction and revenge through this fighter jet. So Superman fights him off. And then it's the second story, which brings us our cover where Clark Kent is going to be like a big brother for the day. And uh, the kid from the orphanage is kind of disappointed that he's stuck with an ordinary Joe, a Clark Kent, even though he's a, a television newspaper, television star newspaper reporter. He's not very excited about that. But they go out, and that's where they encounter Xena. And that's not X-E-A-N-A -A, like Lucy Lawless. This is Z-E-E-N-A. And Xena has been hypnotized to believe that she's actually a tiger and she comes from the circus. So it's the uh, it's the rampage that she's on that Superman ends up stopping while trying to protect his secret identity uh, from the little uh, boy that he's uh, mentoring or taking out in the Big Brother program in this issue. So now that I've read the story, I understand why they didn't use Cheetah because it wouldn't make sense to use Cheetah. But I tell you, it would be an awesome homage, I think, to recreate this cover, but replace the Tiger Woman with Xena. Maybe like, with Xena, with Cheetah, I mean, maybe like the classic Cheetah, like Priscilla Rich. Wouldn't that be pretty awesome? I think it would. Now, that's not anything I think DC Comics would ever do because this cover isn't famous enough to, I think, be picked up as or, or instantly recognized as an homage cover. But, you know, something maybe sometime as a commission or you know, wish list down the road. I, I, I think that it would be awesome, like the classic Priscilla Rich Cheetah taking this on. I also have an idea, and I don't mind sharing this right now, because if someone takes it, it's fine too. I also have an idea. I'm like, who would maybe the most ridiculous person to ever be able to defeat Superman be? And my answer to that would be Signora Lola Lasagna from the Batman 1960 TV show, the character that was created for the show that Ethel Merman played. And I kind of have an idea of how that cover could kind of look too with Signora Lola Lasagna defeating Superman. And see John's comics with kids, Signora Lola Lasagna is a real character. John, I think, was under the impression this is someone that I had made up for a while. Come on, come on, Bat fans, you know. 
know that your boy's got this down. But I love the Superman era, and uh, I even love, you know, not only the classic trade dress, but with Superman flying over the trade dress too, which kind of was, I guess, part of the trade dress from this era. Love that. I mean, this just typifies the Superman uh, that I love. Um, Carrie Bates wrote both stories in this issue, and Kurt Swan, the awesome Kurt Swan, who does not get nearly the credit that he deserves doing uh, interior art on both stories as well. So that was a really good no-brainer pickup when I saw this, and, and the fact that I could get this issue for 50% off where I went, uh, where I celebrated Free Comic Book Day at, no brainer. Happy to finally add this one into the collection. Another one that I bought at the same bat place at the same bat time at the same bat channel was this Batman book. And oh, I was excited to find this one there. It's got a little bit of um, color breaking spine ticks on the side, a few of them, but it's okay. Um, it's, I'm, I'm happy with it. And, you know, if I get a chance to upgrade it in the future, that's fine too. But at least for the moment, this is definitely a, a great copy for me. Batman Volume 1, Issue 294. We have an awesome classic Jim Aparo Batman cover. Like, of course, we associate Jim Aparo with the Batman covers. This was published in 1977. Now, if you can remember all the way back to my Comic Book Editions Volume 11 video, that started me on a quest where I was able to obtain Batman Volume 1, Issue 291. And that was the beginning of a four-part story. So this issue wraps it up. Where were you the night Batman was killed? So Batman has been killed. Every villain is taking credit for being the one who killed Batman because they want to seem badass, you know, that they killed Batman. So they essentially go on trial. Um, to a jury of villains, you know, claiming why they were the one who killed Batman. And the first issue, it's the testimony of Catwoman. The second issue is the Riddler. The third issue is Lex Luthor. And this is the fourth issue with Joker's testimony. And I'm not going to give everything away, even though, I mean, this, I mean, we're talking about a story here that is decades old and very beloved and a well-known story, because sometime I want to feature all four of these issues on Fanboys Live and the Retro Review. That uh, the greatest DC comic show that I do with um, Comic Food 2814 and Signature King 25. I want to feature this storyline sometime in the future. But this issue wraps up the storyline. It explains who actually killed uh, the Batman and how Bruce Wayne Batman is still able to live and appear in future issues after this. And all it and it's not a dream either. All of this is explained in this final issue too. I think this is such a classic story. So I have three of the four issues right now from that storyline. The one that I'm missing is 292, which is uh, the Riddler. And I think if I'm remembering correctly, that cover has Riddler like throwing money up in the air, you know, talking about how, you know, he defeated Batman and he's going to be rich or something. And Batman's kind of behind him, about to take him from surprise, uh, take him, you know, by surprise because Riddler doesn't know he's there. So I think that's the cover. And, and that is a high priority for me to get on my want list in the future for my collection. So, oh, I, was, I, I didn't expect to come home with this book. I didn't remember this store having this book, but their inventory changes all the time. And uh, when I saw this going through the back issue bins, even at normal price, I would have stashed it up, let alone at a 50% off sale for Free Comic Book Day. By the way, I hope you had a great Free Comic Book Day as well. I certainly did. Weather wasn't necessarily on my side that day, but I still had a lot of fun and uh, spent some time with some awesome people too that day. So that's all I want to show you for back issues. We're going to get into the little Ushi Pop and Top unboxings in just a moment. But first, I mentioned Fanboys Live in the Retro Review. I hope you'll join us for that this upcoming weekend, Sunday night, 8.15 p.m. Eastern, 7.15 p.m. Central, here on my YouTube channel. We've been doing for the Retro Review Watchmen, and uh, we've broken up the 12-issue limited series uh, into different parts, and we'll have another installment for you this upcoming weekend. So make sure to join us. If you can't join live, at least catch the uh, replay. Certainly do appreciate that. I have a lot of fun doing that show. We do the latest DC Comics news, the Retro Review, and uh, just see whatever trouble or mischief we can get into on that show. So make plans to join us. Let's segue over to these uh, Ushi Pop and Top. This was a total impulse purchase by me a few days ago. 
I was at Walmart. I was going through the clearance aisle, which I don't necessarily do. There was a box of these in the clearance aisle. As a matter of fact, I ended up just bringing the box home with me. Um, I have seven of them. There were seven inside of this box. And I thought, oh, to heck with it. I'm taking the box with me, too. And I did. And then we're going to unbox all seven today. So we have a nice list here of, of the common characters. We have Shazam, Lex Luthor, Hologram, Superman, Red, Hologram, The Flash, Batman, White Lantern, Hologram, Batman, Armored, Hologram, Aquaman, Hologram, Cyborg, Hologram, and Bronze Robin. Those are all of the commons. There's a limited edition chase, uh, the Batman Glitter Gold. And then we have the rare figures, Scarecrow, uh, Hawkman Classic, Hawkgirl Classic, Cheetah Classic, Black Canary Classic, Wonder Woman. They call her Wonder Woman Rebirth, but to me she looks more classic. Tornado, which is actually a red tornado, but they call them Tornado Bronze and Shazam Bronze. So these are the options. And I know that these Uzis have been around for a while. As a matter of fact, even this wave has been around for a while. It's been around long enough that stores are ready to get rid of them and start to clearance them. I think originally my Walmart was selling these for $2.00. And then they clearance them down to $1.50, and then they cut that in half for $0.75 cents each. And I'm like, take my money now. I absolutely no plans, like I said, to, to get into this wave or anything. There were two factors that really led to me buying these. One, I'm going to tell you at the end of the video. The other one was when I looked at who the options were. And I saw some great characters that I love, you know, besides Wonder Woman and Cheetah, that classic Black Canary and that classic Hawk Girl. I'm like, oh, I'd love to get those. So that was a deciding factor. We're going to unbox. Um, I'm going to make a total fool of myself because I'm going to make some predictions before I unbox as well. And we'll see uh, how much I can get right. So I said I have seven. Um, of course, I would love not to have any duplicates. I won't be getting the full set because there's 18 of them total. At least not not out of here. Walmart did have another box. So, I mean, I could go back and get some if you think I should. We'll see if I have reason to need to go back, right? Anyway, um, so I have seven. If I could pick what seven I hope they are, Wonder Woman, Cheetah, Black Canary, Hawkman, Hawkgirl, um, Tornado, and, you know, probably the, the Batman. I did start watching some YouTube video unboxings after I bought these, but obviously before here or now when I'm going to open them up to see what other people were getting. And a lot of people were getting the, the Chase Batman. Um, I saw a lot of people pull that out. I saw a lot of people pull out Cyborgs as well. And actually I saw a fair amount of people pull out a Black Canary. I guess the best way to find out what I'm going to get is to start unboxing. And that's what we're going to do now. So I said I would do um, a little bit of predicting as well. I'm going to say I want this to be Wonder Woman. But I think it's going to be Cyborg. Wrong on both counts. We have the holographic Lex Luthor. I should add, too, these are the first time I believe that I, I had uh, these Ushis, uh, pop and tops. They're actually like pencil toppers on there because there's a little place for you to insert the pencil on the bottom. And they have like a little squish to them as well. I'd also seen a few people in some of the unboxing videos that I watched uh, talk about the holographic ones as Jolly Rancher. And I definitely can see that because they actually look like Jolly Ranchers, uh, Jolly Rancher candy. So, okay. Got Alex Luther to get us started. I, w I want to keep saying Wonder Woman until I get her. Okay, I want this to be Black Canary. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be Bronze Robin. Oh, it's neither. But it's someone I said I wanted. Girl, which is pretty awesome. Okay, that makes me super stoked that I have Hawkgirl. The fact that they included Hawkgirl, I mean, she doesn't get enough love. I don't know why they're not calling her Hawkwoman. 
But the fact that they included Hawker on this lineup, I was pretty awesome. So, okay. I can get behind this. I can dig this. I couldn't wait to open these things up either. I couldn't wait to come home and, and do a video and, and open these up. Okay. I want this to be Cheetah. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be The Flash. I keep guessing. I, I always want them to be rares, and then I always guess that they're going to be a common. It is a common. Signature King would like this one. It is Shazam. Cool. And I didn't, you know, I'm kind of feeling these, like you can tell. I didn't do any of that at the store. I looked at it and I went, oh, there's seven in this box. I'm buying the box. I want this to be Cheetah, but I think it's Hawkman. Just based on the feel, I think it's Hawkman. I can be completely off on this. And sometimes you're not. I, I, I thought I could feel the wings. So we got uh, Carter and Shiera reunited, and it feels so good. All right. I want this to be... I want this to be... Wonder Woman. But I think it's Hologram Superman. It's not Wonder Woman. It's not Hologram Superman. But I am psyched at who it is because it's one I wanted. Classic Black Canary. That is so cool. And after the Wonder Woman and Cheetah ones, I mean, this was like a tipping. This and and Hawk Girl are like the tipping points for me going, mm, I really want that. Okay. Money was not wasted. Gosh, I didn't think I wanted the full line of these, and now I kind of feel like I do. And I love on the, on the front of these bags, too. You know, we got Hawkman, Cheetah, and Wonder Woman on the front images. So I make a prediction. Uh, I want it to be, I want it to be Cheetah. guess Flash. My gut says to guess Flash, but I want it to be Cheetah or Wonder Woman. And you listen to your gut. It's Flash. The flash are you. I like that he's in the running pose, too. That's cool. Okay, I have one left. Um... I really want Wonder Woman or Cheetah. I'm going to say I really want Cheetah for this. It's a Batman. I, I bet it's a Batman. I'm going to say it's um, the armored Batman, which is which is a, a, a common. Cyborg. I should have guessed that. I kept thinking, because I said at the beginning that Cyborg was one a lot of people got, and I thought, at some point, guess Cyborg, because I bet there's a Cyborg in there. Okay, it's Cyborg. Okay, not bad. I'm actually quite happy. But I really want to go back and buy the rest that they had. I don't remember how many were in the other box, but I think it was more than seven. I really Should I do that? And if I do that, is that something you want to see me unbox here on my channel, too? Let me know. Um... Let me tell you the other reason, because I said there was one more reason why, you know, the, the choice of characters really pushed me over the edge. Well, I showed you the back of the box here. On the front, they have like a little picture of, of what these uh, Uzi pop and tops look like. And on the one that they showed, it was Wonder Woman. And I went, 
that's why I'm like, I'm getting the box with it because I, I was guaranteed to get Wonder Woman. I still kind of wanted a loose Wonder Woman to find her in there anyway, but I knew I was guaranteed to come home with a Wonder Woman, which is really the number one reason why I ended up grabbing these. Do you collect these uh, Uzi Poppin' Tops? I know there's some Marvel ones as well, which are pretty cool. Let's talk about that. What did you think about the uh, Superman and the Batman comic book that I showed? Dialogue about all of that is your comments are welcomed, encouraged, and appreciated. I actually thought this was going to be a short video today, and I look at the time and I'm like, your boy likes to talk. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> uh, only if you're new to the channel might you, might you think, uh, oh, that is a surprise that he talks so much. If you've been a longtime friend, you know, Chatterbox. Regardless, my back issue of the week YouTube short, 60 seconds about a back issue of my comic book collection. It dropped yesterday. Check that out and um, see what you think. I mentioned Fanboys Live and the Retro Review coming up this Sunday. That's what's going on here in my channel. More Uzi Poppin' Tops? Let me know. Thanks for making it to the end of this video and have a fantastic week. I'll catch you soon. This Comic Book Editions Volume 193 video is signing off. Take care. And then the other day, I instinct, I did instinctively, I impulsively into my collection. And then I'm going to do an unboxing on some of these. What the hell are these things called? With you. And then I'm going. I'm not happy with that.